world of old school RuneScape, the Varlamore expansion brings new challenges and treasures. This is my old school RuneScape Hardcore Iron Man 7 Nasty Cloak, an account focused on tackling some of the most difficult challenges in the game, with the twist of only having one life. Deep within Napotsley's mountains lies the Perils of Moon's dungeon. Home to three new bosses, the Eclipse Moon, Blue Moon, and Blood Moon. It's a blend of Barrows and Gauntlet, demanding strategy and perseverance. The Moons of Perils is a dangerous encounter for hardcore Iron Men. The bosses will require persistence because these bosses are more of a test of not falling into complacency. When all three bosses are defeated, a player is granted access to a treasure room where unique items can be acquired from the lunar chest. Three new sets of armor were introduced with this update. The Eclipse, Blood, and Blue Moon sets, each respectively a hybrid armor set. Each specific piece of armor comes in at a drop rate of 1 out of 240 or 1 out of 20 to receive any piece. Seven Nasty Cloak embarked on his adventure in Varlamore by fulfilling the obligatory quest necessary to gain entry into the Perils of Moon dungeon. Initially, he undertook the quest Twilight's Promise, a brief endeavor designed to acquaint him with some of the primary cities he would encounter along his journey. After conversing with several individuals and completing various tasks, I unlocked the opportunity to initiate the Perils of Moon's quest. This quest served as a guide through Cam Torum, followed by an introduction to the Perils of Moon dungeon. After a brief orientation to the dungeon, I prepared myself for my first attempt at confronting the new bosses. Given the unfamiliarity with the content, I chose to proceed cautiously to ensure my safety. I brought Anglerfish to maintain my hit points above 99, and ensured my one-click teleport was readily available for a quick exit if needed. Upon defeating the bosses for the first time, I returned to the main lobby room, where I successfully completed the quest. As a reward, I received 40,000 Slayer experience, bringing me closer to meet my 95 Slayer requirement needed to challenge the Hydra boss. At first, my intention was solely to get the Slayer XP reward from the quest. However, I found the boss battle surprisingly enjoyable, prompting me to engage in a few more encounters. It wasn't long before I realized I was thoroughly hooked on the challenge they presented. During the boss battles, players are transported to a room where they must stand on a designated circle that illuminates. Failing to stand in the required space can result in rapid accumulating damage. Additionally, each boss introduces two distinct phases that unfold throughout the course of the fight, which must be tackled in various ways. One of the most overlooked aspects to this boss is the opportunity to engage in cooperative combat with your friends. Each player must deal 500 personal damage, which remains unaffected by the actions of others. Yet, there is still a strong sense of camaraderie with everyone involved. It didn't take very long for me to pull my first unique item. The dual Macha Hiddles, Macha Hadas, Macha Hudas. Yeah, I don't know. These turned out to be a solid pull because they were used as a best in slot for the account to take on the Blue Moon boss. There was one specific item that I was aiming to achieve the Blue Moon Top. 
The Blue Moon top would be a direct upgrade to my Mystic's top, as I had only gotten the Aram's bottoms when I took on Barrows. However, each item achieved helped me to get closer to the Blue Moon top, because there is a unique reward mechanic that doesn't allow you to get a dupe item until you have achieved all the items of a set. These sets are powerful upgrades for a mid-game Iron Man. The red melee set has the same strength bonus as Bando's armor, minus the defensive bonus. The blue moon set is similar to Aram's, and the yellow ranged gear is a step down from Crystal for irons who don't want to traverse the corrupt gauntlet. In addition to their powerful offensive stats, each set has a unique ability to aid in combat. What is this giant die that's in the middle of the room here? Oh yeah, I know all about the diodecohedron. Yep, it worked. I got out of it. Just saved me the whole phase there. Yeah, I wish I knew what was going on here. I just, I just clicked the circles. It's worked for me so far. What did you get? Good luck. Nothing. That's why I let you go for it. Gotta hide behind the winged dragon of Ra. Noble god just died. Alright, Geo. Nothing. Easy darts. Garbage. Forgetting. Hey, that's another item. <laughs> Alright, zeal, 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 zeal. Yeah! Let's go. Well, that's nice. Ooh, that's I got oh my God, I'm the Eclipse. Oh, Addle addle. Addle 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 addle. Whatever that is. That's not a range weapon, right? It is. Yeah. I don't it is. Go. Is it good, good though? Fun. It just looks like yeah. I have like two sticks. Oh no, they're arrows. With the rain. It's the, this is the hardest mechanic I've seen in any game ever. <laughs> I, I clicked. I'm so fast. I'm behind. Yeah. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's an idiot. Who is this cat? <laughs> oh. 
Does that sound like a good like? Are you well, okay? Uh, yeah, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to do like old NES like video game sound effects. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. <laughs> He's an idiot. Who is this cat? <laughs> Who let him in here? <laughs> yeah, but you stand on it like it's a square because that's how it works. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Show me. Keep walking, keep walking. Stop her. This man's... <laughs> I'm so bad at why <laughs> is like it's also just like the prettiest room like i feel like the other ones when i'm in there it's like hurts my eyes like me and the blue guy even though we're fighting each other i feel like we have a mutual respect for each other you feel oh no i you told me to smite it yeah but you lied are we doing anything special are we just sending it After 227 chests, I finally received 12 out of 13 items, missing the blue moon top, which is the item that I was initially going for. Up to this point, I had favorable RNG, so I got ready and prepared myself to get the final item. your life now this is where your character lives you never have to leave the justy can't save you no item how many is that now hey that's 39 that's where i'm at oh, i already clicked away. okay it sucked and it's in my inventory because i clicked away i went the wrong way i just went back it just auto ran back to the red room you got the top Yes, sir. Way to go, animal. Well, have fun doing whatever you're doing next. I'm here forever. I had anticipated obtaining the blue moon top much earlier than it actually occurred. Surprisingly, it turned out to be the final item I acquired from the Perils of Moons dungeon, obtained at KC290. This achievement not only completed my collection log for the dungeon, but also placed me on the front page of the hardcore Iron Man leaderboards. No retreat, no shine. My kin facing the challenge every day, every spin. Inferno cape and grass on uh, end games, my domain. Charles on the horizon, ain't it insane? Poke hunt in the hardcore fist. The hardcore iron man crafting his own kiss. Fear to 
Tears of blood, wet legends unfold. Turns of mass cut, stories of old. Inferno's blaze, RP.